Hey Valley View, VVSC Tech here, talking today about getting your document cameras connected. Uh, what we have here now is a red Duquesne document camera. We're going to take a look at the connections that need to go from your computer to the document camera, and then the cables that go from the document camera into the wall so that you can use it effectively. Let's take a look at it. The first thing we want to get ready is to get all of our equipment set for the connections. Here I have my HP District Issued laptop. I have my cables that I'm going to need to connect the red Duquesne document camera. And then I have my document camera. The first connection that we're going to do is we're going to connect the laptop to the document camera. To do this, we need to first locate a VGA cable that has a special adapter on one of the ends. So this is a VGA cable. It has a port opening or end that looks like this. There sometimes may be this audio cable, but we don't need this. We don't really ever need this, especially when we're connecting to a smart board. But the key thing with the red Duquesnes is this special adapter that's on the other end of the VGA cable. This is called a DVI connection. This end with this a special adapter is gonna go into the red Duquesne. So let's connect this. I'm going to take the VGA cable, I'm going to plug this into the computer. The connection on this computer is in the rear, so we're going to plug that in. Make sure it's nice and secure. Then we're going to take this end of the VGA cable with a special adapter, and we're going to plug it into the Red Duquesne document camera. Once the DVI end of that cable is plugged into the red document camera, we do have an active connection from the laptop running to the document camera. The next step will be to connect the document camera to the wall outlet, which will then allow you to project what's on your computer and the document camera to your screen in the front of your classroom. So let's do that now. Here I have ready my second VGA cable again with audio cables that you do not need. So what I'm going to do now is take one of these ends and connect it to the rear where it says VGA out on the red Duquesne document camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end, find where it says VGA out, plug that in there, and then I'm going to look, kind of handy here close to the wall, I'm going to find exactly where this opening uh, we'll fit this cable. So plug that in just like that. Now that the cables are plugged in, there's still actually one more um, item that we need to take care of. Uh, you can see we took care of the computer to the document camera, and then we took care of the document camera going to the wall outlet. As you can see here, there is another cable. This is going to be for our power. I'm going to grab the power cable, kind of thread it through there, I need to reseat um, my DVI cable, like so. Take this, plug it in, we've got power running. Seeing that there's a red light on the Duquesne document camera, we know that there is power running to it and that we set up the power at least correctly. I'm going to go ahead and power on the document camera. So I'm going to press the power button, which is the red button. We're going to see a flashing blue light. Some of these lamps might power on. Now the light had stopped flashing. I'm referring to this little blue light over there. Uh, if I look at my overall setup, just to review here, I have my laptop that's powered on. There's a VGA cable running from the laptop to the Red Duquesne document camera, again, with this nifty DVI cable, or I'm sorry, DVI adapter. And then we have the VGA cable running from the document camera to our wall, and the document camera is also plugged in. You can see I have my screen from the computer on my smart board, which is showing through the projector. If I were to come back to the Red Duquesne document camera and then press the source button, it switches. It switches from what I see on my computer 
to what is being displayed through the camera. And that's it. We've now successfully connected uh, our laptop to our Duquesne document camera and then Duquesne to the wall and also a little bit on how to use the Duquesne by using the source button again in the middle. Don't forget to power off your items when you're done using them. So I can just press the power button here and then shut down my document camera. All right, thanks for watching.